Oh, do you guys think that's gonna be um, Trick Room Indity? Not like this. Not like this Trick Room Indity. All right, we're gonna lead this way. And I definitely think that like Murkrow's not gonna be great here. Arcanine can still be used, I think, as a good like wall breaker. And like, I don't think we need the Amoongus, but like if they get up Trick Room somehow, Amoongus is great. I think Shen Pao's fine. Shenpao's kind of just okay. We don't need Shenpao. It's better to go Murkrow. Cool. Alright. They're going to try and pull a fast one on me, guys. It doesn't get TR, but it's in the game right now. <sighs> if that's if that's the thing in the game, I'm playing singles. What is this? So you can fake out... They could prankster taunt my Flutterwing right now. Ooh, that would suck. Alright, EQ, EQ, baby, and big in prison. You can't fake out my Flutterwing, so we take those. Dude, we got over 200 people. That's nuts. So blessed. Let's see it. Reflect, light screen. Ha! Only fools use the screen of lights. EQ, baby! Still does good damage here, too. Oh my gosh, is that a crit? That's just how much that does? No Trick Room! Trick Room is cancelled! That's right, we imprison the Trick Room! Let's go! Ha, nice try. Alright, EQ. If you got Sucker Punch, you got Sucker Punch. I cannot deal with that. Prison Clutch! And he's like, what? I can't fake out it. Alright. We take those. Thank you. 29 subs were gifted on that hype train run. That's ridiculous. Nice switch, bro. I was thinking about switching out my Fluttermane, and I could have switched even through Parish Trap just because um, I'm a ghost type. Light screen. So they got dual screens. Oh, wait. They, they reset the same screen. <laughs> Yay. Oh, my goodness. So much damage. So many Torkoal Trick Room teams are going around that just lose to Imprison. That's right. Imprison D's. Imprison please. Dude, send out a Torkoal. See what happens. Activate it. Body Press Torkoal. I like Body Press Torkoal. Alright, we should be fine here. Make sure we get the KO. And we got it. We be taking these all the way to the bank. Let's go, Chomp. Are they gonna fake out me? What are they gonna do? What they gonna do? Fake out the rough skin, Chomp? Go nuts. I love this Terra Ground. Like, I love it. This is so much more damage. Big damage. The big more damage. Let's go. Let me get that double. Oh my goodness. We crit one. That's going to be single target damage versus the Dunsparce. And it's Dunzo! Don't imprison my team is so good! Yo, Goliath with 500 bits! Can we, we have an emo for that. Can we put an absolute massive amount of bit bitter freeze in the chat? Put some bitter free emotes up? Oh my gosh, thank you! 500 bits! We love to see that. Where's my Butterfree plush? It's out in the living room, I think. 500 bits. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Bitter freeze all the way across the sky. And the Torkoal activating our Flutter Wings Protosynthesis. Yes, please. Speed that we need to succeed. This person got a crash course in why can't just trick room people. Can't just trick room people. Nah, fam. Not in my house. Let me take these wings. They are mega buff dragons by giving them the ability to not be dragons. I know, right? Big damage. Let's go. I will enter a VGC tournament. I will find one to enter. I will build a team for it. We'll have to build it on stream. But I'll do it. Hey man, you know, if this is how <laughs> this is how I can offset the, the mental strain of going to tournaments, this is how we do it. Sableye is good. I think Sableye is good. I think a lot of people are using Entity. 
already. So it's like it's hard to use. I think Sableye's time is like almost already gone. But like you got, might have a little bit of time. You might have a little bit of time. Sableye's still good. I don't see a reason why I wouldn't use Murkrow. Five times in a row. Never lucky though. Never lucky. Alright. What are they going to leave with? What are they gonna, what, what's their combo here? Now, the reason why we're using an Imprison Mon that's Fluttermane, first of all, it's really good, but like, it's a ghost type. So it's like, you can't fake out me, bro. And I outspeed your Infernape. So hopefully this works. I'm gonna click the EQ and I'm gonna go for the Imprison. This should make it so, like, I think their, their play is Final Gambit, and we outspeed the Infernape by one point. So if they're Final Gambiting my Garchomp, and they can't Final Gambit the, the Flutterwing. So we should make it so, like, I don't think we'll lose everything here. But, like, I don't know, man. Like, if they if we don't kill the Infernape, and the Infernape hits my Fluttermane, and we lose, I'm sad. You know? Dude, alright, so we get the Imprison up, okay? And they're not Scarf Infernape. Final Gambit, yes! Actually, they still might have been Scarfed, but like, they don't get the KO because the EQ damage. And then, show me the TR that you don't get to use! Oh, yeah! Yeah, take that somewhere else. Take that, literally anywhere else. Goodbye. Goodbye now. Bye bye now. Have a good one. See you next fall. EQ, EQ, baby! Yo, we out here. Bruh. Bruh. Yes. I don't think the Bronzo can hit me, bro. I don't think it can hit me, bro. I think it has like body press. <laughs> All right. All right, Garchomp, mess him up. It's probably like Trick Room, body press, things like that. Shadow- the, also, I want to let you guys know something. The Skeleturge can't Shadow Ball me. I'm just letting you know. So that's why you're like, what? You're not like over-respecting Skeleturge. It can't- it can't Shadow Ball me, bro. Is it a fairy? So you can Terra Blast my Garchomp. That's actually kind of clean. But yeah, I have, I have Shadow Ball imprisoned because I have it. So he has to go for like just a random- he, I don't think they can get the Fluttermane off the board this turn. Not without taking significant damage and letting me pin them. Yep. Shadow Ball! Nice. That's a two-shot. Terra Blast was in the Garchomp, right? Just opens up a spot for me to bring out Shampao in the game. Yep. And what is the... Like, if the Bronzong has, like, Heavy Slam, he could pop off. I won't even be mad, dude. I'll be proud of you. I'll be proud. Light Screen. Okay! Hey, go nuts! And you're a fairy type now, so we just go Arcanine. And I don't think we even need to double into that slot. Like, I think that we can just get away with, like, see what the mons in the back? Yep, I'm fine with just Boy Blitz. We're faster. This won't KO because of the light screen, but it's fine. Yep. Specialty drop, bro. Big damage. Don't want to. Don't have the E speed. Not get the KO. And what's the last one, dude? These these trick room teams is so easy. It's so easy, so fresh, and so clean. Bulldoze, go for it. You got that air balloon, man. Dude, we don't even care. You see Ark and I like look at Bronze because like, you dare. You dare challenge my authority. I wish it still outspeed this thing. Even after the bulldoze. So take out the Bronze Long. You can, yo, you gotta worry about the Covert Cloak, man. So you gotta respect the Covert Cloak. Arcanine should stall at speed like I was talking about, right? It should. Choice Band Flare Blitz. Dude, that thing ate it like a champ. I'm so surprised. 
Choice ban adamant flare blitz. That's nuts. Discharges a lot here. Breaks the flutter main, but it's fine. No para? Never lucky. They just got the shampoo. Yeah, we have the covert cloak, so we can't get like that's what that's why we use covert cloak Murkrow. That's like what that that I, that's what the item's for. This won't kill because light screen, but like it might actually. Yeah, Ooh, we're thick. We take those. Get these trick room teams out of here. Meet the trick room teams all the way across the sky. Slacking team. Okay. Um. Didn't Zang fight against this? Didn't Zang fight against this team? Slacking spam? How do I beat this? Garchomp just rolls it, right? Is it sashed? I don't know how to beat this. I haven't seen any video. So, um... Like, we probably lose, but, like, I just haven't fought it yet. So, we'll see. I feel it's funny how Zang, like has an iron grip on the meta. Like, whatever team he uses is meta the week that it comes out. I built a team that was, like, slacking, um, and Sylveon a long time ago. So, I don't know if that thing, Doodle, changes the abilities, but, like, don't I just... Is it Scarfed? Is it Scarfed Doodle? Because I... Could I have just redirected this with Amoongus? It's fine. Let's just win the game. Prankster. Oh, it's Prankster, so I could have just redirected it. That's good tech. I like that. I'm gonna use this frontal. Doodle's fine. He makes everyone have rough skin. That's clean! Base cam late. Is it late for everyone else? I hope not. That thing's gone. And he's gonna send out like an Intimidate Mon and like tear it. I, I could have just went redirection. I didn't know that I could have went redirection, so that's my that's my fault. Oh, God. oh, that ain't correct though. I'm still faster than you, bro. Like you can do all the stuff you want, I still double tap you. And I don't think like Arcanine would be able to. Oh, that's not right, dude. You don't know your tiers? You don't know the speed tiers? I get to get a speed boost, right? You have to get a speed boost, otherwise you like big lose. All right, speed boost. Okay, okay. Ha it outspeeds me, but we have a check for this, which is ha right here. EQ EQ baby. Alright. If you go dazzling gleam. I am I gonna hit my own flutter? I wonder I wonder if they're gonna go shadow ball or D gleam. Hmm. Hard to say. This is a this is a dicey one. Mercury Flutter. That works. Oh, they just went with a Moon Blast! Yo, we're a ground type, buddy! Let's go. What? The way you beat this team is just by redirecting it. Mamungus would have just won. Yep, that's fine. We didn't need to quit the Flutter, man. We doubled. Nice slacking, bro. Nice combo. Nice combo, bro. Nice combo! See, I love, I love fighting teams like this for the first try myself and figuring out the tech as opposed to just watching a video. This is what I like. I don't know what the hell that thing does. It's a uh, grass normal type. So EQ's not that great, but that's fine. It should still be a two shot. I love this team. Best ranked team. So, you know, it's funny. Every once in a while, like, I'll include, like, ranked in my titles when we get close to, like, when ranked ladders come up. Just so, like, the video over the course of its lifespan will appear when people search for ranked battles. But I think it's kind of lame when people do, like, best ranked team. They do best ranked team when there's no ranked ladder. And so they try and use it under the guise of, like, Yes, I'm ranking teams and this is the best one. You know, for my videos, I did best VGC team and best singles team. And those, when I made those videos, were the teams that I thought were like the best. And they were rental codes that were good. 
solid and like you could if you still have those rentals they're still usable I don't see an issue with like chomp flutter you definitely still bring the arcanine here and then it's hard to deal with rotom rotom's a scary guy there's a lot of single target i kind of want to bring a mungus just to like seal the deal but i think you just go shimpao shimpao's probably fine probably not we should be bringing Merkel a lot more did you do a tournament today? How'd that go? I did a tournament a couple days ago. I uploaded the full run. You can watch that on YouTube, and I used this team in the run. I'm actually going to check and see how that video is doing on YouTube. I'm curious. It should be a 1 out of 10 right now. It should be doing good. Yeah, it's doing good. It's doing good. It has... Let me just check. It has, like, what is it? 10% more views than normal. It's good. It was a good tournament run, though. I worked really hard on it. And I'm happy to hear it went out the way I wanted it to. I was close to poison shards for Brute Bonnet. So I was able to finish getting those shards. In like six raids yesterday. The other types I have less than 10. Yeah. It's crazy. I got the I got the 50 normal shards to be able to Terra change my Arcanine to normal. Because they give you 50 at the start of the game. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. How are we going to be doing this? Coaching. The tournament videos are free coaching. Pretty much, right? I mean, so with this board, like this is the easiest. Because that thing, it's a dark flying, right? Or is it dark dragon? So that's, that's EQ City. That's EQ City. They're but double EQ City. Do you have any flyers on the team? You have Rotom that can pip it in. You have Arcanine. I don't know if I need to double dip and use... I think I do this. I'm, I don't know if this is right, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to try and be a little bit greedy and just try and win the game this first turn. If you have Wide Guard, I lose. I don't think that the Glade gets Wide Guard, but like, we'll see. I feel like I'm the guy that created people respecting Arcanine as an E-Speed option. Because before, before I did it, no one else did. Well, we have a tournament on Patreon. We have a Patreon tournament happening on Monday. If people want to play in that. No, my God, please. All right. So are you Terra Steel? Huh? Terra Fire? Terra Steel, right? So that that's, this is why I did this. It's so that EQ does more. I don't know if EQ KOs, though. Because I want the EQ KO. Is VGC or single for the Patreon tournament? It's going to be VGC for this one. We might play singles in the next one. See, look at that damage! Look at that damage! Like, Garchomp just like, Wappa! Wappa Garchomp! Got the best dragon! Look, look at that! Like, that's good flow charting! Like, ah! Uh, it baited them into those mons. They thought they were, like, the only reason that worked is because the team's built to bait them into thinking that. Like, normally you'd be think, I outspeed Garchomp, I can go steal, I can kill the Flutterwing, Glade checks Garchomp, that's an easy win. We tunneled them into that. Like, that's so big. So big. All right, let's actually think of what we need to do here. Mouse hold is, like, not that big of a deal. It's a normal type, right? Yeah, so I gotta do something. I mean, I don't think there's a problem with just going, like, EQ here. EQ D Gleam just to get it off the board and the next turn pivoting out the guard trump and winning. Like, oh, that's so good. That would see it wouldn't. Oh, that's a good play. That's a good protect play, because it's just wasting my time right now. I wonder if it's a Scarf Photon. We would still have to be with Garchomp, but. It's just so good. And this is locking that Rotom from tearing. Even if they want to tear into something, they would uh, lose their Oh no, no, if even if they tear into something, they'd, they'd levitate, duh. This is gonna do good chip though. Such a good chip. Trick! Oh! Yeah, we're Scarf. And we're not even full speed. What'd you, what'd you do? Garth Mode Lagging Tail? Yo, I can use different moves! Yo! Thank you, buddy! Oh my gosh, look at this guy. He's so nice. Dude, he's so nice. Have you ever seen anyone as nice as this guy? Never in my life have I ever seen anyone as nice. What a kind person. We take those. <laughs> 
detail though. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Like uh, we were talking about people watch short videos. Like they watch like really short like clips, but not like shorts. But then I also made like my video today was like an hour and a half. And like people watch seem to watch those too. Like I also prefer like really long videos. I fear no man, but that thing, female entity with TR, it scares me. I know, right? Yeah, if you actually go back uh, and watch like this VOD, we talk a lot about like tournaments in this gen and stuff like that. All right, so let's see if they leave the entity. Entity armor is just like really, really lame. All right, so that thing gets trick room. It just learns trick room. Hmm. I don't care about Palafin. <laughs> you ever just like not care that a Pokemon exists? I do. Yeah, fuck, fuck your palafin, bro. Flip turn, go for it. Oh, what? No way! Why, why would you do that? That's so weird. Dude, you're just gonna lose it to the Garchomp. I'm still faster than you, I think. I might still be faster than you. That's actually really clean, by the way. I love that tech. Dude, that's clean! That's clean! Don't get Oko by Garchomp, though. Don't do it. Don't do it! That was so smooth. There's the entity. Okay, okay. Come on. So that entity was... That, that flip turn was faster because it was Timid or... It was Jolly Scarf. All right, come on. We have to outspeed with this Garchomp. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Let's go. Ah! <laughs> nice combo, bro. Dude, they can they can hit my uh they can do that jet punch onto my Flutterman and I'm sad. That was clean though. That was that was smooth. That was smooth. They can jet punch. I'm flying. I'm in the air. Charizard's not gonna be a big heat wave user. It's not. It might see a little bit of play, but I doubt it. Palafin's just a water tapu bulu. That's how I see it. Ice punch? Oh, it's like I'm a fire type, boys. Oh, so good. No, it was a weakness policy. We saw it activate. Oh, he's stuck using Ice Punch now, duh. Nice Ice Punch, bro. Nice Ice Punch, bro. Doesn't matter what we do here. We still have the D-Gleam. In case they follow me. Helping hand. Oh, dude, the big Ice Punch! Yeah, the Entity right now has Trick Room, but like... It doesn't really matter. No freeze, please. Awesome. It's not going to be legal for competitive play. Awesome. Arcanine value. That was a cool. T that was cool tech, though. The self whip turn policy proc. That was actually pretty smooth. I don't know what this bird does. But uh, it's a bird, so it copies stat changes. Okay, but it doesn't, like, it doesn't, I don't think it copies zero to hero. It's supposed to copy the policy proc. I think I'm okay just doing what I was doing. Yeah, I think we're fine doing that. Let's just do this. Yeah, Dondozo. I've seen it with Dondozo, yeah. It's a fighting bird? That's clean. It copied the Intimidate. <laughs> I wish. Terra? Are you gonna do Terra? Terra flying! Okay, cool. So that means that, like, Garchomp doesn't... We just rock slide that thing, then. Okay, good thing we didn't, uh... Do something different. <laughs> 
Ice Punch is fine. Can't do anything about it. It shouldn't be able to Oko my Arcanine, I don't think. Don't think you Oko my Arcanine. Brave Bird, big recoil. Double dip to stab flying. I might, it might get, it might get the KO. Yeah, yeah close, close. All right, so let's think about this. They have Ice Punch. And what do we have? We have Murkrow or we have Shen Pao. Okay, so Shen Pao's fine. I wonder if we just Oko the, uh... I wonder if we Oko the Flamigo with a Sucker Punch. Because we can go Sucker Punch there. And then this is the last turn of the terrain. Then we could Sucker Punch the Palafin. Because it's the last turn. So we would go, like... Sucker Punch this thing because it's flying. Garchomp's dead. There's no reason to not try and live by doing this. So like, don't sucker punch, it's terrain! It's terrain, but there's a fly, it's flying. So let's see it. If I had Dark Terra, I'd be using it right now, but I don't. Sucker punch work on terrain. It's not, ter it's it's a flying type. Oh my gosh, that's so big. The kitty cat. Isn't it hard to live? No, it, was, it goes from four times super effective to two times super effective. See, that would have killed us. But see how it didn't kill us? Because we tear in. It's a good play. And even if they killed the Garchomp there, Sucker Bunch would have killed the Palafin. It was stuck using a whatever thing. This guy's whole team back brought on him. Hey, he got really close. He got really, really close. So, we'll take it. Let's try these. I want to see if this works. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm down to see this. It doesn't say anywhere that the rank water was live on December 1st. It just said December. Alright, let's go. Okay, Annihilate. This is a weird lead for them. We outspeed them hard with Garchomp here. By one point. We have to beat a Scarf Annihilate by one point. Uno points. So if it has like a final gamut, it's going to be weak. I think. We might be able to choose. It might just not be known. Big damage on the Annihilate. Torkoal doesn't even need to get KO'd here. It just needs to get like low. Niop's go. Oh, Niop's alive! That's bad. We lost. Oh, that's probably gonna be loses the game. That probably loses the game. Ah, oh, that Niop being alive is so bad for us. Yeah, that's so bad. That's like really, really not good for us. Yeah, then we just lost that bomb for free. Ah, dude, that sucks. And then the yawn. Oh, that's so bad. So bad. Ugh. That's a bulky Annihilate, by the way. It has to be, like, super, super bulky. I think we're gonna see protects. Cause the Infernape protect it has lefties. I don't see a reason why it wouldn't protect. I don't see a reason why it wouldn't protect here. If it's lefties. It's a it, you already yawned, like you already have protect on Torque, otherwise you wouldn't have yawned. So like this is an easy double protect. Hope that I hit my Arcadine. There's not a single thing they lose from going double protect here. 
And they're not protecting him for an ape. Well, no. SMH. See, they're going after probably the probably the Arcanine slot. But I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, oh, they're going after the Chien and then Garshop slot. That's weird. That's weird. All right, so Torgo's defense is shredded. We should be able to get a double KO here. Um, let's go Ice Spinner and um, yeah. Don't need a Sucker Punch. We're faster than Annihilate is, and this should KO the Torkoal because the uh, defense shred. With Garchomp able to repen in the back, we should be fine. I really thought they were going to go for like a normal, uh, a ghost type of move in our Arcanine. But it makes sense they go after the Garchomp because like I, I think they thought Garchomp was going to protect, or, or, or what is it? We were going to protect with uh, Arcanine. Kill Watrio on the ice move! Let's go! It's almost like I'm an ice type. He's speed, baby! <laughs> Let's get this thing off the board. Oh my gosh, that thing moved too. Dude, this Torkoal is so thick. I've never seen something so thick in my life. It's ridiculous how this guy's like living like everything. We got the crit there, we didn't need it. That's crazy. We're full adamant choice band normal Terra with the defense shred. And the weakest eruption ever. Look at this. Lamal, have I faced anyone using the, abusing the RNG seed? I don't think so. I have not been sure colded on turn one. It wouldn't work against my team anyways. I'm too fast. Dragonite. They have yawns. Um, I think the right play is to just, like, you just Ice Spinner the Dragon. Or do we want to even do that? Let's think about this. You still just hit that. I mean, that's a weird looking play, but I'm going to do it. They should be going after the Shen Pao. I hope my Gar I hope my Arcanine doesn't get O-code by this. But like, if they don't go after the Shen Pao, they're gonna like lose their Dragonite. Now it's Terra, it's Terra normal, it's always Terra normal. Protect Torkoal is okay, there's nothing wrong with that. And they can E-speed my Arcanine. Oh sorry, we're faster than them if they're using E-speed. Watch this play though, like look at this. Value, here we go. Are you E-speeding? Oh! Nice normal tie, buddy! Oh my gosh, we take those. And EQ, okay. They're not gonna lose. We're not gonna lose Arcanine here. We have a defense shred, but we might lose Shimpao, But yeah, that sucks. Is he orbed too? So let's actually think about this. I don't think there's a problem with going EQ. I don't think they one shot my like. I think that we just go EQ. I think EQ could finish that off. The Dragonite. I don't think we need to rock slide right now. I think the EQ is fine. I think the EQ is just completely fine. I don't think they can one-shot my Garchomp here. They have Protect, they have Protect. I'll EQ my own Arcanine. Okay, we win. Yeet. Easy. Arcanine with that speed, boys. 95 base speed. Now we're going to EQ it. <laughs> But then we just one shot the Infernape too, so we're fine. Easy. Cool beans. I still haven't done any of the Academy stuff at all. That was a thick Torkoal. That was a thick Infernape. Everything on this team was super thick. Online battles need to use the same seed on both consoles due to the random nature of Pokemon battles so the games stay in sync. The issue is every battle currently runs the same seed, things like missing Snarl on one of the slots every turn, and more egregiously not missing Shurkle turn one. Yeah, I mean, I think it's lame too, but like, it is what it is. Like, is Fodermain always max speed? If not, how would you invest? I've always used max speed Fodermain. I haven't really invested that much into other sets, but I like the max speed one. Catch a stream, yeah, we're here. We out here. Yeah, I think that, like, the RNGC thing will go. Oh, man, they hit the goal! Oh, man, so we just hit the goal, right? They've gifted. They've gifted 21 subs today. That's absolutely crazy. 21 subs gifted. Wow. That's nuts. That's, like, actually just nuts. Speaking of nuts, hopefully that Indy doesn't trick for me, but thank you! All right, we got to make a team for VGC. So tomorrow, tomorrow's stream is going to be VGC team building. And I got to go find another tournament. 
is payday. I appreciate it. I appreciate it so much. We need some more subs up in chat. I don't know what what should I leave versus this? Garchomp's not super hot here, actually. Garchomp's not super hot. And then Goliath's gifted five subs as well! Oh my gosh! Yo, we're going over! We've we've blown the goal off the hinges. We've blown it out of the water. I think actually you can lead Shen Pao here. I actually think like I like Shen Pao Arcanine with Garchomp as a revenge KO Mon. I don't think they're gonna get Trick Room up. But they have double E Speed Mon, so I think this is where like Fluttermain comes if they lock themselves into like a banded E Speed play. Well, let's just try this. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's over 9,000. Yo, we really gotta build a team. You guys have any requests for teams you wanna see me build? You two that have been gifting all the subs, says Juani's Flail and Goliath. What do you guys wanna see? How's everyone liking the game? I know I'm loving it. Alright, it's exactly what I thought we were going to see too. Awesome. So we can just pop that Corviknight in the mouth. Like, literally just mouth pop it. We can also just taunt it. Dude, we could just taunt it. That'd be actually kind of sick. Nah, I'm going to mouth pop it. Palafin. Okay. Palafin, good mon. Palafin underrated. You know what's underrated? Fire Blitz! Let's go! Tauros is actually really good. Let's go. Baron also getting the gift of the sub. That's sick. Spydops. Hmm, I don't even think I've seen one of those yet. So, I think we should out be able to outspeed the Corviknight and stop it before it can set up Tailwind. So, Shampao swaps. Yes, we're intimidating the Arcanine, but we still should be able to Oko a Corviknight. And if they go for like a Fire Attack into my Garchomp, even if they Wisp us, I think we're still okay. I'd hate to get Wisp. They're faster than my Arcanine with their Arcanine. Don't burn me, bro. I'd be crushed if you burn me right now. Thank goodness. No Akaberry! Okay, so they're gonna live. Slacking team on YouTube. Hmm. Ooh, they actually were gonna live that anyways. That's kinda nutty. It's kinda nutty. So they get the Tailwind up. Do I care? Body press. Oh! No Tailwind. That's fine. That's absolutely flawless for me, realistically. So let's just go Tantrum. Yes, you can switch. Ah, do we want a Rock Slide? I think Rock Slide's actually way better there. Yep, I like this play. I like this play. I like this play. Ba -da -ba -da 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 -ba -ba. If they switch in Dragonite, like, this is such a good pin. Show me the Dragonite. Yeah, Tauros is cool. I think Tauros could actually be good. I think Tauros can be good. Rock slide. Oh, man, we hit them. Let's go. Can we flinch that Arcanine? There's Citrus. Awesome, awesome. I don't think Stomach Tantrum would have KO'd, by the way. And I don't want to lock myself into Stomach Tantrum for Dragonite. So we can flinch there. Wisp, never lucky, bro. Unlucky. It's fine. We're just going to be a Rock Slide bot for the rest of the game then. It's fine. We'll just chill here. And we should be able to fight that Corv. Corv down. No Tailwind. How much you rate yourself in VGC singles and doubles? I think I'm better in singles than doubles. Tross is good, yeah. Let's see if it's, uh, let's see what Mon comes out here. I wonder if it's gonna be Dragonite. Yeah, I'm not taking a break. It's, I don't know why, like, uh, it's, I ain't taking no breaks. Dragonite, Rotom, okay. It's Flinchtown, boys. This wouldn't get KO'd by a Hydro. What's your favorite Pokemon from Gen 9? I like Houndstone a lot. Orthworm. Oh, man. I can make it work. I have a cool team idea. I can make Orthworm work. I got some I got some sick strats to do with Orthworm. Okay. You gifted all the subs. I can do it. I can make that thing work. So we're going to go Fluttermane here. Save our Intimidate for later. We're, able to, we're going to be able to Normal Terra too. So let's see what they use. E-Speed. Blocked, boys! Ghost typing. Where are you looking, huh? Can we punch that Rotom? If he's sick. Hydro? Never lucky. Never lucky, but it's fine. Okay. Do we want to walk? Do we want a Shadow Ball? No lefties on Rotom. It's fine. I think we can just get the Arcanine off the board. This is fine. 
Mass plus stiff? Yeah, I think that's a good Pokemon too. Let's go. Let's see what the Rotom does. I'm afraid of Rotom, but like, we'll see. Terra. I'm happy to see their Terra now. Terra Bull? Is it normal Terra? Oh, Electric Terra. I was like, so that looks different. I mean, E Speed kills that thing whenever I have a, whenever I want to go hit it, so it's fine. We can just still flinch it out too. Big flinch down's up. So Arcanine's down. Noise. We've already been hit by Hydro. They're probably just hitting Fluttermain with an electric attack. Oh, we got the flinch! Yes! Yes. I actually really like the way this uh, theme like room looks. I think it looks cool. Dragonite? Amoongus! Okay. Hmm. Is it the last two? Yeah, we just rock slide. And I actually think you just shadow ball the Amoongus. We don't have to really care about like, what the Rotom does because they're both within E speed range. Rage Powder. Awesome! Kill Watriel. It's one of my, it's probably like top three favorite new mons. My next team will be using Kill Watriel. 100%. Like, it, it's already made. I love that Pokemon. I think it's great. Cool. They could have spored, but they didn't. So they're gonna get a. Oh man! No! I, I want them to KO my one of my mons. We keep getting lucky with these flinches. I don't even want the flinch. Whatever. Rock Slide City out here. We do we go double dip the ghost, dude? I'll do it. Just get the Amoongus off the board. No, I actually like Volt Absorb. Volt Absorb's the ability that I like on it. Volt Absorb's actually really good, believe it or not. Because people, like, it already comes. It already comes where people respect the wind energy and competitive. But they don't respect Volt Absorb. So Amoongus is done, Zod. Can we flinch the Rotom? Can we get the third flinch? Third flinch, come on. Third time's a charm. Can you get the hat trick flinch? Hat trick. Oh! <laughs> Dude, don't burn my guard shop, man. This guy, he set himself up for failure the second he burned my guard shop. Yo, that's what we like to see. That's what we like to see right there. The villain arc starts with a triple rock slide flinch. Yo, it wouldn't be Choice Garb Garchomp if it wasn't Triple Rock Sled Flinch.